Hi, Jim. Thank you very much for joining us today. So we know that NASA is about to embark on another mission to Mars with the Perseverance rover. What can you tell us about this effort? Oh, Lily, I t first off, thanks for having me. I love OAN. And uh, but this is this mission is really a celebration of American ingenuity and in these times perseverance. And so it's so rightly named. Uh, it's also a celebration of our values because we're sharing the data. We're certainly with with the world uh, because NASA is here to really help mankind. But the, really, we're going to be sending up this. It, it's it's a uh, rover. It's a about 10 by 9 feet, 7 feet tall, and uh, it's going to have a number of demonstration projects on it as far and experiments. Uh, it's really to pave the way for human exploration, which really comes from the president. We wouldn't be in this position right now of exploring space if it wasn't for him. He's really pushed NASA and lit a fire underneath us, wanting to get to the moon, but then to get to Mars. and. If you look back at Apollo, there were 23 precursor missions for Apollo before Apollo 11. Well, this is one of those precursor missions for us, for the Artemis program, to get us to Mars. And that's what we're doing. We're going to be looking at a number of different things, including trying to convert carbon dioxide to oxygen, uh, also looking at the climate, you know, the climate up there, the average. Uh, the average temperature is about minus 80 degrees. At the equator, it can go from anywhere from 70 degrees Fahrenheit to minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, even worse at the poles, it can go down to 190, minus 195 degrees. So we're going to be looking at that. We're also going to be taking fabric up of our spacesuits and the space shield that goes in front of your face to make sure it can handle the, the environment up there and the radiation. The hardest part of this is the entry, descent, and landing. We've landed four times on Mars, and uh, we also have three very expensive craters. So we certainly are going to be looking and learning, as we always do, to make sure that we do this better and better before we send astronauts there. Uh, there also is a what we call, we're going to be picking up samples. And uh, that's probably the second hardest part of this, because we've had to make sure that the sampling system hasn't been contaminated on Earth, so we don't bring anything from Earth to Mars, so that when we bring it back on another mission, we know we have completely clean Mars soil, or whatever you would call it. Um, so those are a number of the things that we're working on. Uh, one more I forgot to mention, which is really great, is a helicopter. You think about the atmosphere of Mars is 1% of the density of the Earth. So we're going to try to launch a helicopter, you know, getting it there, launching it. We're going to film it probably 50 to 100 meters away and observe it. But if we can do that, that, that then when we send astronauts, that's going to be a forward scout for us. Interestingly enough, the United Arab Emirates Hope Orbiter is also expected to arrive at the same time, February of 2021, also expected to stay a year there. And just this week, we saw China launch their questions to the heaven rover, including an orbiter and lander along with uh, their three launches. Is this a race for colonization or what does NASA see as the next steps in the Mars mission? Yeah, you know, it's been characterized as a race. The reality is, and you think about it, we've, we've landed astronauts, 12 astronauts, six times on the moon, and we've already sent four rovers to Mars successfully. So I'm not looking at it as a race, uh, but we are going to continue forward as a leader in this world in space. And that's, you know, who leads in space leads the world. They can expect to see that in just about a week, July 30th. It'll be a very exciting day. We'll make sure to bring them the latest, and we really do appreciate you talking with us. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.